um, living is very simple really, you know. Seek out those things and that company to those activities that bring your awareness of God into your being more than anything else. And you will go in the right direction. Part of this, I think, is the practice of thankfulness, as you know. And seeking out good company. You've got choices at times. You can be further from those that are not good company. Those that are not loving God. And those that do not really appreciate you and value you and love you. And you can be with those that value you most. And you know you're a blessing too. They might be strangers. Or they may be people you've known for some time, for instance. And you can do things that tend to bring you more into contact with such people. Well, that's where you should be exercising your freedom. And where you're not free, and, uh, you know, some things you can't, you don't have a freedom over what you're doing and where you are and so on, then you can exercise even so a thankfulness to God for the situations you're in and for the difficulties as your way of trusting him. And every time the difficulty seems to be a trouble to you, you say, thank you, God. I'm going to trust you for this. As part of my love for you and as an expression of my gratitude for all the goodness and the kindness that you have brought me in life and, and continue to even in these um, less joyful times. just love you. So you transform every hint of difficulty into a blessing because it's driving you nearer to God, not keeping you from him at all. And so you will find your life is blessed, miraculously blessed too, I might point out, and you'll start to see it the more you seek out whatsoever's good and lovely, and the more you thank him for all of the good and as much of the bad as occurs to you. But increasingly, I don't know if the bad won't be there or simply it won't be occurring to you, but you'll find you're flying. You'll find your hope and your peace and your faith and your trust, your joy and your love, your compassion and your kindness and the presence of God wonderfully fills your life. Bless you. Thank you, Dad. Now, do you see what happened to me in the last recording? I recounted to you difficulties, difficulties of a mixed-up set of dreams and its relationship possibly in mind to uh, difficulties I'd had in family life. And, yeah, it was done with a good motive. I thought that somehow something in the dreams and the difficulties could be a blessing to you. And so I, I held forth and I was driven to make the recording that I've just made. But it was not a blessing in itself. In itself. And it by the time I sort of got to the end of it, I don't know, over half an hour of it, 
I hadn't really blessed you as far as I could see, and I, I wasn't lifted or blessed myself. Now, this is unusual. Most of my recordings just lift me into the arms of God, you know. I, I'm just uh, accelerated by them. And it's because, if you think about it, I was attending to the difficulties, recounting and analyzing them. Not being confronted with them, but seeking them out, and not thanking God for them in the recounting, but registering them, rethinking about them. It doesn't lift you, you see. So remember, the text is whatsoever is good and lovely, think on these things, because of course then you spontaneously thank God for the goodness. Your relationship with God strengthens. And the rule is, with the difficulties, if they occur to you, you simply thank God for them. Mechanically, because you're not feeling they're wonderful, but you're saying your purpose is to trust Him. And your, your, your purpose of being trusting outweighs the difficulty effects. And you fly. And in the early stages you can only do this with minor difficulties. I, 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 you know, um, you break a dish or uh, um, you burn the toast, you know. It's not a problem, you just say, oh, thank you, Lord. <laughs> and, and you optimistically do something that's nice or put it right or just tidy it up without any fuss, no, no swearing or anger or anything like that. On the contrary, oh, oh, can I trust you, Lord? This is an opportunity to trust you. And sure, you can't do it with the major things, but you will do it. You'll find after a while you can do it with bigger and bigger little problems, and uh, quite big problems, and then you can do it with the major ones. And then you're really flying, because you turn what would have been disaster in, in the secular world to miraculous blessing by the grace of God and His loving kindness and your trust. And, and, and it's not in the telling that you're going to realize that. It's in your doing it. I do commend it to you. Whatsoever is good and lovely, think on these things. And when other things happen and occur to you, do your best to just say, thank you, God. I'm going to trust you because I love you. And you've been good. look how good you've been to me on. And you roll off some of the examples and you completely neutralize any harm that circumstances might present to you as. And you start to realize that God is loving you with all the details of your life, not just the ones you more easily see as good. Bless you. Thank you, Dad. Well, you see how much better this recording is than the last one. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. If I put it pictorially, it's as if evil cannot bear you trusting in God. It just walks away. I mean, it doesn't turn to love, it just walks away. It doesn't know what to do with it. Because it's not come to trust God. And that's your purpose. So it finds you as an alien spirit. It's not at home with you. And you open the door and it just slips out. Of its own accord. 
<laughs> Thank you, God. <laughs> and all that, all that dismal presence just slips away. And your day turns into daylight again. It just does. And it's linked to you simply saying without feeling. It's amazing. Thank you, Dad. Thank you for this. Uh, and your presence of mind is looking for the blessing. You're anticipating this is going to be a blessing. You're trusting. And you move on to in the freedom of that assurance. It's quite miraculous. Absolute loveliness.